guys. So I am heading to work and I've got some things on my heart that I need to share, but I have felt kind of torn on uh, whether to share this and how to share it. Today is October 11th and it's the second day of Amazon Prime big deal days. That's a mouthful. But um, today is the second day of that. So if you are an Amazon Prime member, you're probably already aware of all of the deals that are going on. But if you are not a Prime member, this is a good time to sign up and become a member so that you can get in on these good deals. And did you guys realize that Christmas is 10 weeks away? I am shocked by that. Wanted to get that out there. There are a lot of great deals going on, especially in home and garden stuff like what we like to promote and use. I will try to share some specific deals later today, but I'll put a link in our description so that if you aren't a Prime member, you could click on that. The, I'm sure if you don't live under a rock, you've heard about what's going on in Israel. And as a Christian, my heart is burdened to even think about promoting Amazon or promoting Christmas and buying and selling. I just feel troubled by that. Like, how can we carry on with our lives while there's so much terrible things happening in Israel? And uh, as a believer in the rapture, I also feel that we are nearing the end. And one thing one thing we really haven't gone into great detail with on our channel is one of the reasons God gave us a mission to create a homestead and start. Sorry about the sun, guys. That is terrible. We feel like God gave us a mission to create this homestead and start storing back food and preparing for a different way of life because of where things are going. But because we believe in the rapture and we believe once that happens, we will not be here anymore. We do feel called to leave food and things behind for those that are left behind or what, what we would call post-tribulation saints. People that are left behind that were not believers, but they become believers during the tribulation. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I strongly suggest you read your Bible and start searching end times prophecy and look into all of that. And if you have any questions, please post those. I'm happy to talk to anybody about that and show you why I believe these things. I'm not predicting that the world is going to end next week or anything like that, but uh, I do believe we are living in the end times right now, and, and the Bible shows us everything that's happening. It was predicted a couple thousand years ago, so... Anyway, I got way off track there. That was why I was torn with even whether or not I should share about the Amazon thing. That feels so trivial with everything that's going on. But yet, I was reminded, I watched a sermon last night that said, we should plan as if we have 100 years until the rapture. Meaning, you should carry on with your life. You should finish school, get married, buy a house, have children, all that stuff, right? Um, you should make your plans and continue living your life. You should live as if Jesus is returning tomorrow. So what he was essentially saying was that we should continue. We shouldn't like live in fear or stop planning or, you know, proceeding with getting an education or anything like that. We shouldn't just halt our life because we feel like we're in the end times. We should keep Jesus at the center of everything that we're doing. And, of course, as for me and Art, we feel like we've been called to pave the way for anyone that comes to Christ after the rapture. And, of course, we won't be here for that, but that is why we feel like we need to be homesteading and saving back food and preparing and basically leaving seven years of provisions behind so that any of our friends and family, especially, but anyone that would come to Christ, that they would stumble upon what we've left behind for them. I know that's 
a lot of information that I don't even know if I should be putting out on the internet. I felt like I was supposed to share that today. And while I was torn on whether or not to talk about the Amazon Prime thing, I know that any tiny bit of commission we might make off of you clicking our affiliate link, it can be used for the greater mission. So it is not for myself that I ask you to do that. It is not for our own pocketbooks or anything. We just have this on our heart that we are supposed to be preparing for other people in the future. And I mean, this video would have to get to so many people, crazy amounts of people for us to even earn enough commission to do anything. I do feel like God put it on my heart to share it. So here I am sharing it. And I know this is crazy lighting. It's a very bright day, so I apologize. But anyway, I'll share links in the description. Even though, as Ecclesiastes says, it feels kind of meaningless. I am praying for you all. I'm praying for Israel, especially. Uh, I'm praying that eyes are being opened and that everybody sees what's really happening. And please read your Bible and comment below if you have any questions. Um, I love you all. I pray that you all have a great day. Don't be scared. This is this was all predicted, and we know who wins in the end. So just trust that it's all in God's hands, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't prepare. Figure out how we can help those that are left behind because they are going to go through some terrible times. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.